John Henry picked up a brand new, a Pioneer Arms uh, AK in 5.56 NATO. This is a Polish AK out of Radom. Um, but does a Pioneer Arms Radom Poland uh, on the side 5.56 by 45. Um, so we had to take it out and break it in. And this is what we did. All right, so this is gonna be my first few shots out of this 5.56 Pioneer Arms AK. And let's just hope I don't blow up. I have not sighted it in, so I don't know where I'm hitting. Well, to start, I had some old wolf steel case 556 that um, I didn't want to run through my AR, but I thought, well, it'd be just fine in an AK. AK should take a steel case, no trouble. All right, we've got the Wolf ammo steel going through the 556 AK. These are some old Wolf 223s I've had laying around. Couldn't find a more fitting place to shoot them up. Steel ammo just seems to belong in an AK. cycle these. Um, we had failure to extract uh, every single round. It got very, very frustrating. We had to use the, the boot stomp uh, uh, bolt uh, on the, to get that cycle to eject these darn things. We were also shooting some of the ZR, ZSR. This was very, very cheap ammo. Um, and at the start of the afternoon, we were getting a 100% failure rate with these, a failure to extract again. Um, we went and shot a bunch of Winchester green tip. Uh, we shot some more Frontier, and then we went back to this ZSR, and it was cycling. Um, so it maybe just needed to break in, but these were very, very suspect at the beginning of the afternoon. So, fresh. This was kind of finicky. Um, we did have some trouble um, with failure to extract. We did have some bolt over uh, round two, so it was, but we could, but 100%. It was the ammo. When we ran the the, the Winchester, uh, the, the the green tips, 100% success rate. Um, we ran some other uh, green tip, and again, 100% success rate. So it was the it was the ammo. And but as the day went on, it did it did get better. Your safety's a little stiff. First thing you notice about this this uh, this, this radon uh, AK is well for one you notice that straight magazine still it's five five six doesn't have the curved magazine like the like the seven point sixty by thirty nine but it does have the under folder um, the under folder is pretty cool there's a button here on the left side of the uh, receiver press that in with your thumb it this thing will fold underneath and this butt plate is just friction just we'll just straighten that out. It does clear the 30 round magazine and it locks in place here just short of that that does not bump into the forend. So that metal folding stock doesn't bump up against, you know, the metal doesn't really hit the wood. So it does, it does stop where it is. Um, 
nice compact little unit. And when you've got a compact little unit, you've got to fire it like an insurgent. So we did some of that too. So at the end of the day, we have the very reliable, I mean, historically reliable um, AK, um, and now in that 5.56 caliber, so very, very abundant ammo. That's like combining the best, the best round with the best features of this, of this uh, AK. Um, so you end up with you know, a great package, great combination of both gun and uh, bullet. Um, at the end of the day, what's well, not to love?